Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is take seven or eight. It's going to be one of those days. Um, as you may know, um, I read a lot of uh, movie magazines. I mean, I get these every single month, just to mention a few of them. Film Hounds, uh, oops. Film Stories, Sight and Sound, which is the BFI's magazine, Total Film, Empire. This is a new one. I import this from, I believe it's American, uh, Cinema Retro, which is excellent. Um, I also listen to a lot of uh, movie podcasts. And what I've noticed over the last few months is that you can't get more than 10 pages through one of these magazines without coming to an article about the MCU. Uh, I didn't even know what the MCU was. Um, I, I knew it had something to do with Marvel something to do with comic books but um, I had to ask what MCU stood for and I, I believe it's is it Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe correct me if I'm wrong on that um, now I'm not as I say much of a comic book hero type person I, I don't watch them very often I think the last one I actually watched was uh, Thor uh, which I thought was okay um, but mostly I remember obviously the old uh, the older uh, comic book heroes. You, you're talking Superman when Christopher Reeve played him in the 70s and 80s. Um, George Reeves played him in the black and white series uh, in the 50s, I believe. Um, and maybe some of the earlier Spider-Man, uh, the cartoons and stuff like that. But th this actual new breed of Marvel um, heroes, I know nothing about. So I just remember sitting at work one day reading one of these magazines and basically thinking, what the, why is half of this magazine dedicated to Marvel comic book heroes? And I thought, do you know what? If you can't beat them, join them. So I'm going to dive headlong into the Marvel Cinematic Universe just to see how I get on with it. Um, as I say, I'm not a great fan of them, um, but to be fair, I haven't seen very many of them. I've seen trailers to them, I wouldn't mind seeing Wonder Woman, um, there's a couple of others that I've seen that look okay, uh, the new Spider-Man, I mean there are so many. Um, and my first question was, and I actually asked somebody at work about this, where the hell do I start? Because apparently you have to watch them in some kind of an order, is it chronologically? So I downloaded a list of what I think is the order they're supposed to be watched in. I've had this roughly confirmed by a couple of people um, and I'm going to give it a go um, and see how I do. The first one I got through, now this is the first one on the list, is this one, Captain America. Um, I know nothing about it, absolutely nothing, apart from the fact it's Captain America, that's all I know. Um, so that is my entry level movie into the uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So we'll see how we do with that. There was this one as well. I mean, this, this magazine. And obviously, these Marvel things were on the front cover most months. And I think I was just I think I was just starting to feel just a little bit left out um, because obviously I've not seen any of these things. So I thought, right, okay, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see how we go. So I'll watch Captain America. I've already got. And I don't know why I bought it, but I found it the other day. Um, Iron Man on Blu-ray, which I believe is number two. Um, oh, I can't remember what the third one is now. If I'm getting these in the wrong order, feel free to pull me up on it. Because I, if I'm going to do this, I want to do it properly. I want to watch them in the right order. And everybody tells me that Captain America is definitely one of the first ones I should watch. Even though it's one of the more recent films. Um, not quite sure why. Whether it's to do with events... Um, uh, God knows, <laughs> you tell me. Um, so I'll let it go with that. I just wanted to let you know that I am going to give the Marvel Cinematic Universe a go. So hopefully, after I've watched this series of films, and there are quite a few to go at, there was even a list of TV series. Now, I'm not sure I can be asked to go into the TV series as well, because I will be here for years. Uh, but I will certainly give the movies a go, and, uh, and uh, basically see how we do with them. Um, so if you've got any advice out there as to what order I should watch them or how I should watch them, please, please let me know because I'd hate to get this one wrong. So I'll leave it at that for today. Um, I've watched quite a bit over the last week or so because I've been off work. So I'll be doing separate videos uh, for those. I watched uh, Rush, 
the story of James James Hunt and Nikki Lauder. Um, I'm watching hopefully Purple Rain tonight, uh, the Prince movie, which I've never seen. Uh, what else have I watched? There's a couple here. Oh, Hugo, watched that one yesterday. That was that was excellent. So I'll be doing a separate review on that one. So, right, I'll let you all go, folks. I hope the weather picks up for you all because it's absolutely miserable as sin out there. Um, have a good weekend, and I will talk to you all again soon. Thanks for joining me. And if you're enjoying the videos, as I say, just give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Take care, all of you. See you again soon. Bye-bye.